about that new information. According to her, she said that she went to make a stop right about here and then the brakes gave, gave out. She hit a parked car right where that Toyota is and then came up the sidewalk here and then wound up in this house right here. When I looked at it, I was kind of surprised. Steve Hawksworth's surveillance camera captures the moment a Boston public school bus plows into a Dorchester home. Nine children, along with the bus driver and monitor, on board. It was going pretty slow, and I was like, okay, what's the problem? I don't see a car in front. Um, it was kind of weird. Two children and the two adults on the bus taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Another angle shows that bus drive by appearing to be going near the speed limit and then moments later out of frame, you can hear the crash. She was going slow, maybe, I don't know, a, a, a medical issue. Um, I don't know, and I'm just guessing, so. Yeah. That's crazy. Donna Scott's family has owned this house since the 1960s. Her husband was home at the time the bus came crashing in. She's still trying to understand what may have caused this. It doesn't make sense to me because, okay, you, you don't want to go into the main road, but you don't know what you're you don't know what's on the other side of the wall of the house that you're crashing into. Right now, the front porch is boarded up, but needs to come down. After seeing so video of the crash, the woman who lives well. here, still grateful. It's an inconvenience, but, you know, it, it, this is all material things. The key is for me is that no one was, was seriously hurt. Now the family can't stay here in the meantime because the utilities are off and that boarded up door right there, that was one of their only ways out so it doesn't meet fire code anymore. And according to police, everyone who was injured suffered neck and back pain. Luckily that was the extent of their injuries.